So in this video, I'm going to show you what you must know before taking the CSWP certification exam. So what are you going to learn? You're going to learn exactly what to prepare, what to practice, and what to expect before taking CSWP certification exam, and also how to avoid the most common mistakes. So first of all, why does CSWP matters? So the Certified Studies Professional exam is one of the most respected milestones in a mechanical designer's career. So it proves that you not only understand how to use solder tools, but also how to apply them in the realistic, time-constrained engineering challenges. Unlike other tutorials and classroom exercises, CSWP tests your ability to think like a designer, to model accurately, build flexible assemblies, and make quick design changes under pressure. Right, so not only that this is gonna put you automatically in the top 15% SOLIDWORKS designers worldwide, this will give you skills to perform on the high level under pressure. Now let's go through the exam overview. So the exam consists of the three parts, measuring your skills in the modeling, part modeling, uh, part modifications, and assemblies. So the part one uh, is 70 minutes, and this is about a sketching and defining geometry, Extruded boss base, cut features, revolves, shells, fillets, pattern, and mass properties, right? So everything related to the part design. And this is where you're going to have to make some changes, right? So you're going to create a first sketch, first part, and then you're going to have to change some dimensions, change mass, uh, material, and then also calculate the mass, calculate the center of the mass, and so on. The second part is about configurations, right? So this is 50 minutes. It's about editing existing parts, changing dimensions for building design intent and working with configurations. So you're gonna to have to build different configurations. And then you have the part three, which is 80 minutes. And this is where you're gonna to have to work with assemblies. So mate types, but not only basic mate types, you're gonna to have to work with advanced mate types. Sub assemblies, motion and mass calculation. So the total length of the test is three hours, 20 minutes, and you must have at least 75% accurate answers. So what are the requirements and what you should know before taking this WP exam? So you should be familiar with a SOLIDWORKS interface navigation. You should be comfortable with 2D and 3D sketching. You should be comfortable with feature creation, extrude, revolve, loft, and so on. Reference geometry, planes, axis, coordinate systems, and also you must have design intent thinking. Right, so this is how model changes affect downstream features. And also you must pass CSWA exam, right? So if you pass CSWA exam, you're well prepared, but a CSWP expects deeper understanding and much faster execution. So if you don't have CSWA, you can't participate, you can't take CSWP. So make sure that you got CSWA first. Now skills you must master. You must master A, speed and accuracy because you're racing against time. So my advice is to practice building parts without pausing because CSWP has no time for trials and errors, believe me. So my tip is use mouse gesture and shortcut keys to reduce clicks, every second counts. Then equation-driven design. So expect multiple questions where you must control models using equations. So you must understand how to link dimensions, how to create global variables, and how to drive patterns and configurations through equations. Because for example, a single missing relation can ruin your mass properties results. One builds on another. So then we have the C configurations. So you'll often have to create multiple variations of the same part. So you have to know how to add and edit configurations, control features per configuration, and manage configurations in assemblies. And then we have the D is assembly mates. So most know standard mates, which is very basics, like coincident, parallel, distance angle, but you must understand advanced mates, width, symmetric, limit, and so on, and also mechanical mates, gear, rack, pinion, because the exam tests the ability to mate fast and correctly. A single floating component can waste 10 minutes. Now, common mistakes that cost points, not saving frequently. So the software can crash during the exam, Maybe it can freeze your computer. Always save before switching questions, okay? Make sure that each question you save. 
The second one is overcomplicating sketches. So make sure you have simple geometry because you can much faster than rebuild and you can have less errors. Then missing units. So double check you're using the correct unit system. Okay, whether that's millimeters or whether that's inches. Then not fully defining sketches. So make sure when you create a sketch that you fully define sketches because then later when you're gonna change some dimension, the sketch will break. Then wrong material assignment. Also just pay attention to the material. Maybe everything is correct, but you just didn't assign material or you assign wrong material. So pay attention to that. And then forgetting design intent. Hard dimensions can break when you change your value later. That's why you need to use relations and equations. So that means you have to know what are the main dimensions, what are the main sketch entities? Because when you change these main entities, these affect other sketch entities, right? So you have to understand design intent. <clears throat> now, how to prepare effectively. So take official CSWP practice exam. This is available on the SOLIDWORKS website because this simulates real questions and timing. So make sure you practice under the pressure by timing yourself. Then build real world projects because this is gonna develop your design intent thinking. And the closer your practice is to the real world complexity, the better your speed and design intuition will be. Then also there are a lot of courses to prepare for the CSWP that show exactly what tools you need to know and give you the sample questions. So if you want to structure a pet, then consider joining a program that includes complete CSWP preparation from advanced parts, assemblies, and configurations training. Not only this will show you the exam samples, but it will show you all the tools that you need to know. Also, here are some quick tips during the exam. Use two monitors, usually one for questions and one for actually working on the model. Then read the entire question before starting. Many steps depend on earlier answers. Verify every feature before moving to the next question. And most important, don't panic. Missing one sub questions won't fail the exam if you keep your average strong. So my advice is just stay calm, trust your preparation, and work methodically to each part. And then after the exam, you'll get a score immediately upon completion. Passing scores include a digital certificates and badge you can display on your LinkedIn or your portfolio. Because CSWP is not just a test of the software skill, it's proof that you can design and modify efficiently under real engineering constraints. And this is exactly what employers, clients, and hiring managers are looking for. And finally, passing CSWP, it's not about memorizing some tools. It's about speed, precision, understanding, design, intent. So before you take the exam, practice like it's real, know your tools, think like a designer, not as a student. With the right preparation, the CSWP is absolutely achievable. And once you pass, it's credential that stay with you for the life. Now, if you want to speed up your preparation process for CSWP, I have the full course. I taught thousands of students to pass CSWA and CSWP. I have the full course that's going to teach you all the tools, techniques that you need to know, give you exam samples, and prepare you and give you confidence to take the real exam. If you want to check out this course, you check out on the link below. If not, I hope that you got a good value from this video, and I see you in another one.